Hey guys, this is Shane with Legacy Athletics and I wanted to share a thought with you today that is near and dear to my heart and actually it's based on a question. The question is, how do you be a healthy lifelong athlete? How do you make sure that when you are 50, 60, 70, 80 years old that your body is still functioning extremely well. I mean, you can do all the things that you could do in your 20s and 30s. For some people that might seem like not even a possibility. Like it's just kind of commonly accepted that oh, when I get to 60 or 70 or 80, I, I'm not going to be able to move that well. I'm probably going to have a bum knee or a bad back or something like that. And I question that contention. I don't think that that has to be true. And I think there's a trend that's been going on in the past several years in the fitness industry, the industry I'm, I've been a part of, um, where people are paying more attention to taking care of their body. Yoga's become more popular. People now know what a foam roller is and most people have used a foam roller, which I think in general is a very good thing. Um, I think some people get too carried away and think they can just foam roll and then they don't have to do a thorough warm up. They just foam roll and roll around on the ground and then jump immediately into exercise. I think that's an error, but in general, on the whole, I think the trend towards mobility, body care, more stretching, things like that is a positive thing. Um, and because a major part of what I do is teaching people mobility, self body maintenance, I'm a deep tissue therapist, so I get my hands on people and work on them. That's a large part about what I do because I found it so valuable for myself in healing my injuries over the past couple of years. And I wanted to point out that even though the trend is moving in the right direction, it's good that people are stretching. It's good that people are actually using foam rollers. If you think of yourself as a vehicle, a car, and you are the, the mechanic of that vehicle, does a mechanic only ever use a wrench? Do they only ever use a hammer, like one or two tools? Or do they have a variety of tools for different jobs of working on the car? Of course, the answer is they've got a variety of tools um, and a master mechanic knows how to use each tool for each job. So I want to invite people to start expanding their mind to go beyond just, oh, I foam roll, like I'm taking care of my body or I, I do a couple hamstring stretches, like I'm, I'm ahead of the curve. I invite you to think that each area of your body possibly requires a different tool. If your neck gets tight, are you going to foam roll your neck? I hope not because it probably won't work very well. So just as an example for my own life, I've been deeply involved in kind of self-maintenance, body care, mobility, massage, stretching, yoga, tissue work for the past four years or so now. And kind of interested earlier, but like really diving deep in the past four years. And I've started to accumulate different mechanics tools, different tools to work on my body. So I'm hanging out in my house right now and I've just kind of compiled a couple of the tools and I'll show you them here. These are just a few of the tools. And I actually have probably twice that many tools in my office where I do my tissue work. Um, but I've accumulated them over the years and it's not, I'm not trying to say that everyone needs to go out and buy 30 different tools but what I'm trying to get you to do is open your mind that a foam roller is not enough. One lacrosse ball is not enough. Those are an excellent place to start. Um, but as you progress on the path, you're going to need new tools, more advanced tools, tools that get in different angles and things like that. Um, and, and slowly learn how to use each one for different parts of your body, your neck, your back, your shoulders, your ankles, everything might require a different tool. I just wanted to put that thought into your brain and get you to start thinking about, okay, if I'm going to be a lifelong athlete, like a healthy, all my joints work, I have full range of motion, I can, I can do cartwheels at 60, I can run, I can sprint, I can jump, I can tumble, I can roll, I can climb, all of that when I'm 60, 70, 80, it's not going to happen on its own. 
and you're not going to get there with just one tool like a foam roller or a lacrosse ball or whatever. So I invite you to start learning about the different tools there are out there, the different modalities, the different ways of doing self-massage. One of my aims is to provide a lot of that information for you and kind of save you the learning curve that I had for it by just kind of putting it all out there. So check out some of my videos. Uh, try the things out for yourself. The, the way that you're going to learn how to become a master mechanic on your own body is by tinkering on your own vehicle this thing. Uh, you, it's not enough to read and watch videos and learn. You got to spend the time tinkering on your vehicle. I also wanted to share one last thing. Um, why I'm so passionate about this is because one of my dreams that somehow got planted in my head in my 20s was that I wanted to compete in the senior Olympics, you know, when I'm 60 plus. And that's kind of an odd goal for a 20 year old, but like, I'm dead serious about it. And I recognize that it's not enough to just lift weights and do cardio and stretch a little bit here and there, which I would assert is generally what people do when they think about how do I be a lifelong athlete or how do I be healthy for the rest of my life? They think lift weights, do cardio, stretch a little bit. And then maybe someone introduces them to a foam roller and then that's it, stretch, foam roll a little bit, lift weights and do cardio. But if you watch some of the most dedicated older people in the gym who are super inspiring because they're there and like they're 70 and they're like repping out push-ups and pull-ups and stuff. But if you watch a little closer, most of their movements they're doing like partial reps or half ranges. And I would assert that's because they were never taught and didn't give um, enough importance to maintaining full range of motion in their joints for the entirety of their life and their training career. And I think the way that you maintain full range of motion in your joints is you use it. So you go into a full handstand and you, you'll, if, you, if you hang from a pull-up bar for the rest of your life and if you do handstands and things like that, chances are you won't lose that range of motion because you're using it. But tissue gets tight, things start to get tighter and tighter and tighter in the shoulders and then the hips and ankles and low back and neck and everything. So sometimes you need massage and stretching, joint mobility techniques to improve that and regain that. So I hope to see that my generation, and I hope to have some influence on the people of my generation and people older than me who are maybe on their 30s and 40s, starting to really dive deep down the tunnel of self-massage, mobility, um, and how to maintain their body for the rest of their life so that I can see them in the in the Senior Olympics doing things that most 50, 60, 70 year olds wouldn't even think was possible. So that's my dream. I hope it inspires someone who shares the same dream. So uh, enjoy.